What up players, it's Warboss Tail in this mode. Welcome to my bits and pieces video for my Iron Blaster. We've got everything painted now except for the last three pieces, which is this Noblar driver slash handler, the saber tusk pelt that goes over the cannon, and this giant iron, uh, I guess, jaw piece that goes over the cannon as well. Uh, so, Actually, we'll, we'll, let's start with this one because it's the easiest to get started. It's got huge surface areas. We can really get it <coughs> get it done pretty easily. So, we're going to start with... Uh, let's see how the tin bits goes right over the gray. Hope you all are doing good. Um, I'm really excited that we get to finish the Iron Blaster today. As you can see, unlike the gold, Tin Bits is like this um, bolt gun metal and chainmail and Mithril Silver, the silver paints, in that it goes on really easily without a base coat. So um, that's what's really great about Tin Bits. Um, with gold, for some reason, at least the current gold, the old GW Citadel paint line. It's just not built to handle um, being painted on top of uh, primered models without any kind of a base coat underneath it. And look at this. Look at this. I'm trying to hold it open so I can get my brush in. I hear the new paint brushes, uh, paint pots don't have that problem, so that's awesome. Another reason to get them. I don't know, are they out yet? I keep seeing people putting reviews of them having used the new paints, but um, I don't know if they've been released yet or not, or if they're just on advance order. I'm really looking forward to getting some of the, the new stuff, like the texture paints, testing out the dry brushing paints, the dries, the Citadel dries. Um, looks like they're trying to get new people into the hobby by making it easy for them to access and paint with some of these new uh, products <coughs> and also you know make a whole ton of money while they're doing it So there's that. What we're also going to do is we're going to paint Calvin Brown onto the sides. Actually, I'm going to wait to, to do that. We're eventually going to be painting Calvin Brown onto the sides, uh, these little braces on the side. We can do one of them now, actually, now that I think about it, because if we just hold the other side, we can get one out of the way, knocked out real quick. So Calvin Brown, this is going to be the base for our shining gold in just a little while. And I'm really excited we're going to get to finish this thing soon. Can't believe it's been like an, an odyssey to get all the way up to here. To get this far with the with the Iron Blaster. And it's just one model, and it's not even a giant monster like the Mortis engine or the. Um, you know, it's not as big as the Hellpit Abomination. It's nowhere near as big as the Thunder Tusk slash Stonehorn. But it was. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. Okay, we're gonna let that dry, and we're gonna go on to the Noblar Driver now. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. We're going to paint his skin in Kadachin Green. <coughs> He's my kitty. I 
I love this Mablar. This model has so much detail packed onto it and just like the door, the, the key hole in the, the door, and just like the um, Chaos Star, so much of it is never going to go um, noticed by the general public who don't have this model just because people aren't going to no, you can't really see it just by looking at the model, but let me show you. He's holding a sign that says Two Kislev. And if that wasn't enough, he's got spurs on his little foot bandages to kick the Rhinox with. He's got little spurs on the front. And they're just little iron things clipped onto riveted onto his foot bandages but I mean that is so so awesome <clears throat> and the last thing that sets him apart from other Noblars is his super awesome leather riding vest so I decided to paint him up kind of like a like a hell's angel like he's got studs in the back of his riding vest and then he's got like a little buffalo which I guess is supposed to be a rhinox so, whoever painted this was either bored or was afraid he was going to lose his job. I mean, whoever sculpted this was afraid he was going to lose his job and was like, I better come out with the best work I've ever done in my entire life. Because there is more detail on this figure, this tiny little knoblar, than in um, a whole lot of other armies. Next we're going to use Caridon Granite to paint his awesome leather jacket. Or leather vest I guess you would call it. kind of want to give him a grungy looking Mad Max kind of style. Like a cross between Mad Max and a like a biker gang kind of look. Next we're going to um, paint <coughs> Calvin Brown on to the um, staff. Next we're going to use Denim Stone, my favorite color, onto all of the hand bandages and uh, ankle bandages. Can't really reach the ankle bandages yet, I might wait until we glue the little guy onto his, um, onto his little post before we paint the foot bandages. Definitely get the the wrist bandages now. He's also got some some tooth uh, fetishes, like good luck charms on his some of his bandages. I think he's got an earring with the with the tooth on it. So just 
hit that while you're at it. And then finally take the <coughs> denim stone and brush it across the front of the Noblar's teeth so that you get almost like a dry brushing. But then it hits all the teeth and then it gives you the the illusion of teeth. And then we can clean clean up any mistakes you make with catechin green later. Next we're gonna take Talarn Flesh. What Talarn Flesh? Yes, Talarn Flesh. And you're going to paint the little guy's tongue. Next we're going to take Micrite Red, paint his little loincloth. He's got this weird like fur or something draped over the front. Not sure what that is, what that's all about. I think I'm just going to leave that. Now we're going to take our tin bits again, <coughs> and we're going to paint up the little stabby bit at the end of the spear, and we're also going to paint the little um, joiner at the head right, up, right next to the Kislev sign, since those are both metal, and I'm going to do this kind of dull, stained, tin bits kind of look to them. Okay. Next, we are going to give the guy We're going to paint the wood at the front, at the tip of the spear. We're going to paint it, do a Kemri brown, it's like a sharp splintery piece of wood, so Kemri brown. And there's also a little piece of metal at the top of the sign to make almost like a halberd. You can see that. So we're gonna paint that in tin bits as well. I missed that. I missed it. It's okay. So congratulations whoever sculpted this model. Um, your job was online. I hope you kept your job. If you were doing it just to impress the bosses, then I hope you did. Uh, I approve. I approve of your work. A little signpost halberd, your Hell's Angels biker vest, with the little water buffalo on the back. most detailed Noblar in the world. We're, we're gonna take um, our bolt gun metal now. We're gonna paint the design on the back as well as the metal studs.
That is so awesome. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Alright, and um, I'm gonna let, let him dry for now. Uh, I am gonna, we are gonna paint a little bit Camry Brown onto his weird little tufts of fur right over his loincloth, if you could see that. No idea what that is, but let's give it a little touch of color, shall we? If I could actually get under there, I would paint his, underneath his vest, he's wearing like a, like a wife beater. And I would get in there if I could, but to uh, paint it like bleached bone or something, but I'm not going to try it. So I'm just going to leave him, clean up his, some mistakes we made. And voila. So let him dry while we move on. <clears throat> Next, we are going to be painting this guy. So we're going to start with Deneb Stone, because it's my favorite. We're going to just paint the whole thing. Deneb Stone. Because it looks like Looks like this thing is painted pretty much generally with a foundation color and then maybe a, a layering color or two and then just washes and the saber tusk, I guess like stripe design, which will do as well. I'm not going to paint the arm, the right arm, because that's what I'm using to hold it. I think Saber Tusk is supposed to be <laughs> like this brown orange kind of color, but I kind of like them as this Deneb Stone snow leopard kind of uh, almost like off fawn, off white cream color. It's almost like a bleached bone. I kind of like that instead, but eh. We'll try and stick as closely as we can to the GW scheme. seconds. We got 30 seconds. Computer is on a timer. It'll only take video for 12 minutes and then it explodes. This computer will self-destruct in 12 minutes. All right. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and um, all I did extra was that I painted a little pilot's feet wrappings in denim stone and gave his spurs a little bit of tin bits. And I painted the other side of the Calton Brown uh, jaw piece. So now we're gonna paint in the shining gold for those Calton Brown end pieces. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna hold one end while I paint the other, let it dry completely, and then come back um, between filming when one side is dry and I can actually I can do them both now since I'm the tin bits piece in the middle is already done so I'll just hold it from the middle <clears throat> whoops not on camera at all let's try that again shall we Igor please pay attention to the camera Sorry, monster. Done here at the bottom. 
And that was quick. We're gonna let this dry and we're gonna get started with our um, saber tusk pelt now. By now the den of stone should be completely dried on him. And we're gonna start adding up our highlight colors. that on the side. So to highlight our uh, saber tusk pelt, we are going to take some bubonic brown and yeah I think we should mix it. We're gonna mix the bubonic brown with Snake bite leather. So you get something kind of in between those two colors. And I'm mixing it on my soft palette now and let's see. Hope it works. Yes, this works just fine. I like it, says I. I'm gonna paint it all over, get it into this little maw um, tattoo, I guess, on its back. So I just went one to one, 50%, 50%, and we're gonna paint it with the entire thing. And we're actually gonna go back with Denim Stone, but um, the Denim Stone is just a light base coat for now. or undercoat, I guess you would call it. So you can kind of see it underneath this coat, but it's not, we're not really keeping it in any fashion until we get to the highlighting. But it goes on so nicely to and it's just denim stone and don't worry we're gonna use the denim stone again to kind of clean it up do some highlighting but um, for now this is gonna be good also the denim stone for you know like the teeth and stuff good. We're going to take bleached bone and paint in the guy's little fangs at the front. dry and by now brother man over here should be done drying and we're gonna give him a wash so what are the washes just one Devlin mud so far gonna give him that well-worn off the trail kind of look I'm 
everything, get all that wash going. Everywhere from every angle, just in case. <clears throat> and that's it, ending up with his face. And we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to come back, and we're actually going to add him to his carriage at this point. <clears throat> so, he's just about done. The last thing we're going to do for him is actually like put a little bit of Devlin mud on his sign, but he's done for now. So we're going to put him on the side, not have to worry about highlighting him till later. For the bit here, we are going to take two washes. Those washes are going to be, if I could find them really quick, Igor, this muscle. Please fetch me some Ogren flesh. And see if we have any more Griffin sepia. Yes, muscle. Well, I found some Ogren flesh master, but I can't seem to find any Griffin sepia. And we'll make do with what we have. Okay, so Ogren flesh is going to go over the entire piece, the tin bits and the gold. Add that that's going to be great for now. Almost provide like natural rust around each of those little rivets of gold. You don't even have to do anything. The wash does all the work for you. So we're going to put that down. Come back to our kitty cat, and we're going to give him a wash of Griffon Sepia. <coughs> I'm not going to paint his tail at this point. I'm going to paint everything else but his tail. that dry for a little bit then when we come back we're gonna continue with our highlighting and shading for the little bits and pieces that come with 
the Iron Blaster kit for Ogre Kingdoms in Warhammer Fantasy.